Oklahoma City police are looking for a suspect accused of hitting and killing a man while fleeing from police early this morning. Now, police say officers did follow policy. They ended their part of the chase before the victim was hit. News 9's Tevis Hillis digs into the rules officers are expected to follow. Police have not released any information as to who was driving the Honda sedan that led police on an early morning pursuit, but they do believe because of the person's reckless driving, it caused an innocent bystander their life. Around 1230 this morning, an officer saw a man driving recklessly around southeast 29th and Lindsay. Immediately after conducting the traffic stop on the vehicle, it was traveling eastbound here on 20, southeast 29th Street, uh, the vehicle uh, began to accelerate, uh, initiating a pursuit. Police say once the Honda sedan was at about 85 miles per hour, they terminated the pursuit. The department has rules for pursuits. One reason a chase should be terminated is if the suspect's speed endangers the public or officers. In another pursuit on Monday afternoon, police attempted to stop Lance Miller near Southwest 119th and I-44. That's when he took off. For 20 minutes, Miller led police and troopers on a steady chase, but police say he was going the speed limit. Yeah, we definitely have to take precautions, especially this time of day with the amount of traffic. Um, we have certain rules in place that uh, allow these pursuits to, to end safely. Police say officers should consider deploying additional backup. You can see in our shot Air One over the pursuit. Now, once Air One is up, the ground pursuit can end. Officers did follow the procedure, keeping their distance. And on Tuesday morning, Kenneth Mosby pushed a female to the ground before stealing her car, beginning a pursuit. Police performed a tactical maneuver to get him to stop near Northwest 35th in Classen. So far, no arrests have been made in this morning's pursuit, and the victim has not been identified. At police headquarters, Tevis Hillis, Oklahoma Zone News 9.